I monitored my glucose levels for two weeks and it taught me so much about my body and diet that I had never thought to look into, all thanks to this little device paired with a powerful app. Hey, I'm Yuka and I make videos about tech and creativity, so if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. I use the UltraHuman M1 CGM, which is a continuous glucose monitor aimed for health enthusiasts. I thought I have a somewhat of a healthy lifestyle, but I wanted to learn more about my glucose levels and how it reacts to certain foods and hopefully be able to use that data and knowledge to optimize my fitness goals, which is to lose fat and gain more muscle mass. However, after weeks of wearing the CGM monitor and learning more about glucose and its effect on my physical and mental health, I ended up getting so much more insights about myself than just optimizing for fitness goals. If you have already been diagnosed with any type of diabetes, you probably already know that making sure your glucose levels are steady is important to you. If you have never been diagnosed, learning about how your food and activities affect your glucose levels and how to avoid spikes will help you to not develop diabetes in the first place. There are so many things that are correlated to your glucose levels that balancing them can help you manage. Things like cravings, fatigue, hormonal and fertility issues, skin conditions, and mental health issues are some of them. We'll talk a lot about glucose spikes, but these are when your glucose levels shoot up, usually in reaction to food or stress. To put it very simply, smaller spikes are better and for it to slowly come back down to your baseline rather than something called a crash, where the glucose levels come crashing down after a huge spike. By understanding and taking control of your glucose levels, it might help you live a longer, healthier life. After reading the book Outlive earlier this year, one of the things that stood out to me from that book is preventing illnesses and delaying age-related decline. Continuous glucose crashes or frequent episodes of hypoglycemia can accelerate aging in various ways, impacting both physical and mental health. These crashes stress the body's regulatory systems, particularly the hormonal responses that manage blood glucose levels. After learning about glucose spikes, I think it's very similar to smoking. One cigarette doesn't immediately have a long-term effect on your health, but if you keep smoking over a long period of time, it obviously heightens the possibility of you developing lung cancer. Glucose spikes are similar in a way that one spike may not have a huge long-term effect, but when it spikes and crashes over and over for a long period of time, there are many ways that it can contribute to your aging and you can become less responsive to insulin, which is a condition called insulin resistance, and this can lead to developing type 2 diabetes. So let's talk about the device itself. UltraHuman sent me their M1 CGM to try and there are a few other companies that have very similar products but they are basically sending you the same monitoring device but with different apps. Ultra M1 comes with an Abbott Freestyle Libre 3. It also comes with alcohol wipes and a cover sticker for the CGM. One CGM lasts for 14 days and you can shower, exercise and do everything you need to do with it on. To start, you need to do this in the morning right after you wake up before your daily activities so the monitor can pick up on your baseline glucose levels. Application was super easy. I disinfected the back of my arm with the alcohol wipe provided and went in for the staple. It doesn't hurt very much, don't worry, but I was just a bit scared at first. I then covered it with a patch sticker. By the way, this device doesn't pierce you and you won't bleed. It has a hollow needle that is used to make a tiny incision in your skin and a thread, a thread like filament is placed and remains under your skin. And you also need to set up the apps that go along with it. You need to download the Libre app to do the initial setup. The CGM has an NFC chip inside and it was super quick and easy to pair. Then I connected my Libre 3 account to the UltraHuman app that takes all the data and presents it in a beautiful UI with easy to understand insights. In the UltraHuman app, you can log events that might cause changes in glucose levels. I mainly only logged my meals and connected my Apple Health to sync exercises and sleep data, which was really convenient. The app also gives you a metabolic score that is a number between zero and 100. At midnight, the score resets to 100 and the score changes according to all the information from the sensor. The higher the score, the better, and it's a good way to get a glance over time to get a sense of how you are doing overall. 
Food Insights give you a score of the meal based on the glucose peak. If the food ended up causing a smaller spike, it gives you a higher score and vice versa. Activity fueling scores are insights on your exercise performance based on your body's glycemic response under a physical activity. It gives you a score from 0 to 10, 10 being the most optimized. To wrap up, I'm so glad I did this because it gave me the chance to get curious and learn about glucose levels and how it affects many parts of my health. My grandparents were diabetics, so I have always had a vague fear of developing diabetes myself, but I didn't really know how to prevent it or that these devices even existed until I got this opportunity to test out the UltraHuman M1. UltraHuman sent me their one month supply set that comes with two CGMs that last for 14 days each. In the first round of the 14 days, I went ahead and wore the tracker but kept my meals and exercises the same. I was already trying to eat healthy and was thinking a lot about getting enough protein intake, but had not really been considering anything about glucose. I was kind of shocked when I got huge spikes from the meals I thought were considered healthy and well-balanced. This was a huge revelation for me, so I wanted to know how I can influence these spikes and take more control. I read this book, Glucose Revolution, which helped me a lot to understand the basics and the hacks to still eat your favorite food, but also keep the glucose spikes to a minimum. After I've got all the knowledge under my belt, I started my second monitor and the spikes have gotten much less intense. I highly recommend this book to anyone who is interested in learning more about glucose, the science behind it, and some tangible tips that are useful with or without a CGM monitor. So the most valuable thing I got out of using the UltraHuman M1 is the newfound curiosity and understanding of glucose. I personally don't think I need to wear a monitor every single day of my life, but if you've never tried one, it would be beneficial to see your actual data and how the food you're putting into your body is affecting you. I realize that a lot of things are just accepted as normal in our society, like food coma or kids throwing tantrums after eating sugar, but I realize that they are probably just glucose crashes. For me, I definitely felt sleepy or tired after meals and felt mood swings, but did not really think that glucose levels might have been one of the biggest factor and that it could somewhat be controlled. I just thought these things were inevitable and I was wrong. In the second round of wearing the monitor, I was able to tweak my meals and the spikes have gotten so much smaller. It might be a little bit of a placebo, but I feel like I'm more energized and less stressed and less tired, especially after a meal. The easiest and most effective thing I started to implement is to eat your veggies first. There are a ton of research done on this, but when you eat fiber before the fat and carbs, the fibers will create a lining that slows down the absorption of glucose. I love logging my life and I have an Apple Watch that I track my exercises and sleep with and I sometimes just look at the graphs on the health app for fun. I swear I have a life. <laughs> it's easy to get a little obsessive over the spikes and numbers so it's important to find the balance between the numbers and your actual life. It's also important to do some research on your own to understand how glucose works and ways you can mitigate spikes so that you can create a sustainable, long-lasting impact even when you're not wearing your CGM monitor. That was a lot, but thank you for watching until the end. I am so excited to continue on this journey of learning about my health and I'll have links of all the books and the CGM monitors that I talked about in the description below. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.